welcome to the Alpha Stan. Remember to wear your headphones, darling Omegas. <laughs> Should be any moment now and they'll arrive. I'm so excited. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, right on cue. I knew they would fall at this exact moment. Oh, look at you, my darling human. It's nice to see you. Oh, don't look so scared, darling. As long as you cooperate with me, I won't hurt you. I can guarantee that. <clears throat> what am I? Well, I am an arachne, of course. As you can probably tell. I'm like what you could say a spider, but I'm also human. Hmm. Am I going to eat you? <laughs> no, where's the fun in that, dear? You see, my darling human, I've been watching you for a very long time, and I've decided I want you to be my partner. Well, you don't have much of a choice, seeing that you're stuck in my web. Mm. Hey, stop struggling. Okay, darling, since you wish to be so naughty... I'm going to have to completely immobilize you. Oh yes, darling. Now you're completely wrapped in my webbing. It's incredibly strong, but also, also soft enough. Soft enough for you to feel cozy, even though... I don't think you deserve to feel cozy, but, um, well, after you're thrashing about. Oh, darling, you look so adorable when you cry. I could just eat you up. Oh, come on now. I said I wanted you to be my partner. Of course I'm not going to eat you, darling. Let you go. Oh, darling, you're never ever going to leave this cave again. Now don't even try to struggle. You're bound up ever so tightly you can't even move. Darling, are you really that afraid of what I'm going to do to you? <laughs> you have nothing to fear, my darling human. Well, nothing... Not all to fear, as long as you obey me. I mean, I think I'm already spoiling you, dear. I mean, I wrapped you up in a soft, warm silk cocoon, keeping you nice and warm in this dark, cold cave. You seriously can't deny the web's comfort. Yeah, you might say it's not. But I can see it in your eyes. I can see it plain as day that you're lying, darling. You're secretly enjoying this. Listen to me very careful, darling. Very carefully. And do not lie to me. Otherwise, I will blindfold you. Mm, that's a good darling human. You have a question for me. And what is it? When did I find out about you? Well, it was about a month ago. I saw you, well, tracking above this cave. I thought you were absolutely adorable. I decided you were going to be my partner. So I made a trap above this cave that would make you fall down. And land straight into my web. I knew the route you take when, well, going by past my cave. And I knew the exact time you would get there. So I made sure no one else could trigger it. 
Oh, us Arachne have very strong webbing, as you can feel. It's not as fragile as it may look. <laughs> I couldn't risk my darling fragile human to get hurt. Hmm? Why don't I choose another Arachne as my partner? It's simple. I'd rather has a hu- as- I'd rather, well, mm, as you may tell, I'd prefer to have a human as mine. <laughs> I'm a monster. Well, maybe I am for messing up my wording a little. Hmm. Well, to your kind, someone like me, being a monster is sort of true. I guess, but you're going to learn to love me. You might say that you'll never learn. But really, what choice do you have? You aren't nearly as strong enough to break out of that webbing. Out of that soft, silk, sec silk, secluded place in the webbing. Even if you did, well, I'll just have to turn you around, darling. <laughs> oh, yes, we're nowhere near the bottom of this cave. I have you all the way up here. But I do venture down there from time to time, when I have to. A drop from this height would easily break your bones, or possibly kill you. And oh, I couldn't possibly have you go so soon. You're far too precious, far too precious for me to lose. So now, do you understand why struggling is completely useless? You're not going to break out of this web. And if you did manage to break out, you'd only be hurting yourself. That's good, my darling human. Hmm, what was that? Turn you back around. Why so eager? <laughs> You are afraid of heights? Oh, you poor thing. I'm sure this must be scaring you. I'm afraid you need more punishment for struggling, for thrashing about. So much you're going to be facing down there. You're begging? That's so adorable, darling. Let me think about it. Hmm... All right, if you wish, I will turn you round again. <laughs> Did you seriously think I would do it? No, 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 no. This is your punishment, rem remember? Oh, no, no, darling. Well, you do look adorable when you cry. And honestly, I want nothing more than to hold you. And tell you it's going to be okay. You do need to face the consequences of your actions. When you disobey me like this, you have to be punished. I'm calling out for help now, hmm? Darling, no one could possibly hear you in here. Shh, oh dear. You're being extremely naughty now. I'm going to have to gag you. I'm going to shut your cute little mouth with more webbing. Oh, don't worry, you can still breathe through your nose. I'm not that cruel. <laughs> I can't understand you, dearest. Well, I have to go get some supplies. I'll leave you here for a bit to consider about your actions. Wow, I actually almost understood you there. So all of a sudden you don't want me to leave you. That's quite adorable, but I do need to go get supplies. It'll take a bit of time. So try to get some rest, darling. I know you're scared of heights, but this is your punishment. And besides, you're going to ha need to learn, have to learn to cope with it eventually. Perhaps when you're behaving better. I'll hold you close and keep you safe, and take your mind off the scary heights. Goodbye for now, darling. 
Hmm, it looks like I got all the supplies needed for us. I sure hope my darling has learned their lesson by now. I'd hate to continue this torment. Hmm, poor thing must be absolutely terrified by now. If they apologize for their outburst, I'll hold them close to me and help them relax. I do feel somewhat bad for them, but in the end, they caused it by being so naughty in the first place. Hmm. Oh, hi, darling. All right, you're gagged. <clears throat> Let me remove that webbing from your mouth. Shh. Shh. It's okay, my darling human. I'm back. I know I was gone for a long time. And you were facing the bottom of the cave from such a far, far up height. And I know how much you are afraid of heights. I know it was scary, but it was your punishment, remember? Right, so I believe you have something to tell me, don't you? Regarding your strugglings from earlier? Well, it's what people do when they have remorse from your act from your actions, from their actions, you know, apologizing. Are you sorry for disobeying me? Are you sorry for struggling? Are you sorry for screaming? Oh, that's such a good darling human. Yes, I do forgive you, darling. Not because you were so good for me and apologized. I'll give you a reward. <clears throat> there you go. You're no longer facing down there anymore. Does it feel nice? Good. See what happens when you disobey me? Shh. Oh, you're still crying, darling. It's alright. I'm not mad at you anymore. In fact, I think I'm going to hold you. There, there, my darling human. It's okay, your protective arachne partner is here to hold you, protect you, and also feed you since you can't feed yourself at the moment. Hmm, I'm not unbinding you yet, darling. You're going to have to truly, truly accept your fate before I think about that. Now I have some tasty treats here for you. You better eat them willingly or well. You know what happens when you disobey me, don't you, darling? Mm, that's such a good darling human. <laughs> mm, good human. Again, say ah. That's such a good human. You're so obedient now. Oh, I love it when you're obedient to me. I really do. <clears throat> I really, really do. Hmm, will I ever let you have the web? Well, perhaps. You need to prove your loyalty to me first. How do you do that? Sounds to me like you're just trying to hatch an escape plan, aren't you? Oh, you're so easy to tease. <laughs> I know things are a little rough for you right now. But you'll work through and cope with your issues soon. I do love you way too much to let you go. And I refuse to let you go now. You're not going to try to escape from me, are you? Are you? Because if you did, then I would have to give you a punishment far worse than the one you just endured, dear. I might have you dangle from the web this time. Oh, you are so cute when you beg. Don't worry. I know you're not going to escape from me at the moment. So don't you worry, your pretty little head, darling. Nothing's going to happen to you for right now. Not yet. I just want to hold you for now. I know that you've been enjoying my soft, silky web. Do you enjoy being held by your loving, caring arachne partner? 
I asked a question. Answer honestly, my darling human. Mm, good answer, darling. <sighs> you just don't understand, do you, darling? I already told you I want you as my partner. So you're going to be my partner. I don't want another arachne as such. So stop asking that. I make the rules here. This is my cave. You can't really do anything about it, now can you? Hmm, that's better, darling. <laughs> oh, look at you learning. You're already apologizing for questioning me earlier. I won't just choose an arachne as my partner. I didn't need you to apologize for that, but it's sweet of you, dear. How long am I going to hold you? Well, for as long as I want, of course. I can tell you're actually enjoying this quite a bit. Oh, look at you blush. You can't hide anything from me, my darling human. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Don't deny it. Remember what I can do to you if you disobey me. Mm, that's better. Just relax and let me hold you. You don't have to worry about the scary heights you've been facing up here. You won't have to worry any more, any longer. It'll all be okay. I've got you. You're safe in my arms. You're safe in my web. Nothing will ever, ever hurt you. Nothing will come in my cave to hurt you. If something did try, then that would be a fatal, fatal mistake on their part. You're still a bit scared? Oh, you poor thing. I know it's scary, but you'll learn to cope with it eventually. I mean, I think we established already you love being wrapped up in my soft silk. Feeling protected by the strength of it, the warmth of it. Feeling comfortable from the softness of it. You really are the most precious thing out there. I can't afford... Anything bad to happen to you, my darling precious human? I'll play with your hair a bit now. Perhaps that will calm you down. I've heard that works on some humans. Does that feel nice, my darling human? Wow. Thanks for being honest with me there. It feels great to tell the truth, right? <laughs> Good. Oh, looks like you're falling asleep, dear. Well, isn't that just downright adorable? You must feel at least somewhat safe with me, if you're literally, literally falling asleep in my arms. Shh. Oh, look, you're so adorable. I'll keep you safe and comfy, darling. Go to sleep now. You'll be safe with me. You need your rest now. Sleep well, my darling human. Rest well.